truth about bodybuilding dosages. Elon, you believe in really high dosages. You think everybody's lying. Give me some more of your uh, logic. So there's so many guys online right now, and they say, oh, I just take TRT, or oh, I just take 250 uh, test, 200 Primo. That's a really common one. That, oh, and maybe one or two units of HGH and some metformin day and night. And then you look at them, and they fucking look like this. They look like this. They literally look like this. This is not 250 test, 200 Primo for anybody. It's like way more than that. And everyone is taking way more than that. And they don't want you to really bodybuild because once you see what it is, you're gonna realize that they're not better than you. They don't have better genetics than you. They don't have anything that you don't have other than taking grams of stuff, tons of growth hormone, insulin. Anybody does that, they're gonna look fucking crazy. I guarantee you. Anybody. So you've been talking to people in the gym and you've been sharing your perspective. And uh, surprisingly, you've gotten a, a lot of feedback since you're taking this position that a lot of bodybuilders agree with you. Yeah, I mean, a lot of bodybuilders take a lot of steroids, right? But, and then, and then I've also had a lot of people telling me that they used to take a lot of steroids, but now they don't take that much anymore because it's for health. But if you ask, but on the front end of the conversation, they still give you these tiny dosages. So it's like, you, you got to give some context that, okay, some of these guys maybe are cruising now, but they took... And when I say these guys, these big bodybuilders take grams a year, I'm talking grams a year all the fucking time, all the time. If they do one competition a year, they're blasting six, seven months out of the year with grams of gear, growth hormone, and insulin. Everybody that walks around over 220. And so if you think you're gonna take 250 test and 200 primo, you're never ever gonna look like that, never ever. You need to blast for a long period of time to build the muscle if you wanna look like a bodybuilder. Facts. So we're going to be doing the seven day mass blast coming up here in three weeks, maybe four weeks. And we're going to show you through daily vlogs exactly what we're taking, exactly what we're doing. But remember this goal, the goal of this is hyperplasia to build permanent new muscle. So it's less important how many pounds we gain. It's more important that the pounds that we gain are permanent because I want a low maintenance physique. I was a natural bodybuilder before and I had an amazing physique, but it was high maintenance. If I didn't diet all the time, if I didn't train all the time, then my physique would fall apart. What I was looking for when I entered the steroid world was more maintainable gains. I wasn't looking to get huge. I wasn't looking to get crazy shredded. I was looking to look my best natty, like the, like the best I looked as a natty, but look like that all the time so I could have a higher quality of life and less life revolving around bodybuilding. But when we do these mass blasts, we realize we put on so much muscle so fast and that the, a lot of the muscle growth is permanent that I think it also has implications for bodybuilders because if bodybuilders want a healthier approach to building muscle, in my opinion, it's to blast for shorter periods of time because it's more about the amount of time on a blast or, or the amount of the compounds than it is about the dosages. And if everything is done right within that period of time, then we have the maximum amount of muscle growth in that time, then we can spend less time having to grow and more time maintaining and caring about our health or other things in our life. So I'm not saying that a bodybuilder isn't taking the right approach by taking large amounts of gear for long periods of time and building the muscle slowly over time. I'm just saying from a biohacking perspective as well, like want to build muscle as fast as possible, we like the short blasts. Right. And yes, we use a lot of gear, but it's mostly also about MGF, IGF, HGH, and insulin. Well, we just really want to explore how much muscle can you put on in one week? Like how much is it physically possible? You've never tried to blast everything all together perfectly on the, in a short period of time, right? Never. You've always done the bodybuilding dosages, slowly, incrementally increasing over time, longer cycles. So this is gonna be new for him. And then for uh, Cody, Cody's been on gear, but it looked like he was natty. We <laughs> fixed part of the problem. He stopped drinking as much alcohol. Alcohol came down and his physique instantly started to improve. But also Cody wants to achieve the physique as fast as possible. He wants to have the physique as long as possible. So his goal is to have the physique. It's not necessarily the journey to get the physique. If the journey to get the physique is the goal, spend, spend the next three years in the gym building the physique. 
No, he wants to build the physique and look amazing, and we're gonna do it in an extremely short period of time. Yeah, plus like, um, regardless of the gear or how much I work out in certain areas, like my calves just won't grow. So I think I need something like GH or the IGF and insulin response to uh, get past that plateau of where I am. So that's how you know that the muscle growth that comes from these mass blasts is permanent because his calves will grow significantly and he will keep that muscle forever. Permanent new muscle fibers built in one week, more than you could have built three years training him in the gym. Because you don't just grow new muscle cells just by training in the gym every day. You grow new muscle cells and permanent bigger muscles by blasting them with huge amounts of hormones that are natural to our body when we're younger, when we're growing, right? When we're in the right growth phase, our growth hormone and our insulin, our growth hormone and our IGF levels are very high. And you notice during that phase, the body can grow, muscles grow very fast and they become permanent, right? You keep those muscles the rest of your life. We're basically putting the body through another growth phase. Just like you went through in puberty, just like yeah. you went through when you had growth spurts. We're having another growth spurt, only the difference is this time we're creating a huge amount of inflammation and mechanical muscle damage in the areas that we want these hormones to focus on growing, and that's the muscles. Yeah, and it's another puberty, except that instead of being in high school, we're in Thailand. So that's pretty good. Be swollen, swollen friends of freedom, pioneers of human evolution.